Town, it's Ryan Sullivan. Ryan, hey. Hey. Ryan. Uh, what's going on? Woo. It's good to be here. I almost didn't make it. I woke up at 4 p.m. today. <laughs> yeah, that's an eye opener. Uh, do you know how embarrassing it is to have to set your alarm for an event that doesn't happen until 8:30 p.m.? <laughs> I'm awake more hours during nighttime than I am during daylight. I woke up today and the sun was setting. I think I'm a vampire. As much as I love sleeping, I I hate yawning. I mean, I love it, but I hate it. It's kind of like my dad. Um, <laughs> yawning is weird because it has no reason to happen. You know, when you're tired, it just kind of happens. You're just kind of walking around the house going, Aah. you don't really know why it happens. I mean, I haven't Googled that, but I assume there's no reason. <laughs> it's like when God was allegedly designing us, he was talking to his human engineer, I guess. <laughs> what should we do to let the body know it's tired? You mean other than the heavy eyes, body soreness, and an overall lack of energy? Yeah, well, this one's only going to be when it's really inconvenient to be tired. You know, like between the hours 2 and 5 p.m. when you have a meeting. Okay, well, we have that weird internal fart that you have when you're hungry. So what if we just made him go, ah! I like it. Ah, yawning's so weird. It, I mean, there's never a time when you look and sound dumber than when you're yawning. You look like you're one of the victims from the movie The Ring, and you sound like you have Down syndrome. Really do. It's true. Don't roll your eyes, laugh. That's the, that's the correct response. What do you think the first guy to ever yawn did? You think he went to a doctor? I don't know. If you're just walking around the house, and then all of a sudden you're making noises, you'd be like, Honey! I should get this checked out! I think I'm dying! I really do. So you go to the doctor. Hmm, what seems to be the problem? Um... Can you explain that one, Doc? Mr. Professional? No, I can't say I've ever seen that before. <laughs> oh my god, it's contagious. Nurse, quarantine this man immediately! <laughs> but it was too late. The sickness had spread. <laughs> and that, boys and girls, is why you won't be on today. <laughs> Damn it. I know, it sucks. It sucks. Uh, I love fast food restaurants. My favorite fast food restaurant is Wendy's. Actually, it's Swenson's. But I wrote this joke in Youngstown, so they wouldn't get it there. I love Wendy's because it's like the smallest step you can have above McDonald's and Burger King. You know? Like, yeah, I'm still poor and I'm still fat because I go there, but they have Wi-Fi and flat screen TVs. And yeah, ladies, I did bring my Kindle Fire. Can't afford an iPad yet. <laughs> Wendy's is weird though, because like their serving sizes are like six thousand times bigger than the average fast food place. You know, like I, I ordered and I wasn't prepared for this. I went with my buddy and I ordered a medium combo, and I walk back and I'm holding all my stuff like this, you know, just barely holding it. And he's, my buddy, who's being a dick, he's like, "Oh, Ryan, looks like you got a lot of food there." <laughs> yeah, I uh, I misinterpreted their serving sizes, and uh, I ordered a medium. They gave me a Manila envelope of French fries and. Uh, and uh, they gave me, you know those, you know those generic buckets of Legos that you had when you were a kid? Yeah, that's what they put my drink in. That's what they put my drink in. I don't even know how they got a straw in them. There's not even a hole in the top. Oh. I love Wendy's. It's so good. I just blanked and I apologize on my Wendy's joke. I love this show too. You'd think I would remember it. Uh. All right. I think my time's up anyway. So you guys have been great. Thanks for laughing. You guys have a great night.